Hello again, welcome back. Another Belgian beer. Yeah. Vedette. Extra Pilsner. Which I think used to be their extra blonde. Don't quote me on that. So it says with their upside down label, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Extra Pilsner. This comes in at 5% ABV, it's a 33 centiliter bottle. I've got my Vedette tumbler, which is 33 centiliters up to there. I love the label on that glass. The label on this one is a funny one. Well, they've got the upside down thing, there must be a reason for that, I don't know. But there's also, they've got the you can design your own label and submit that. So that's those lucky people. You lucky people! I don't know. Let's crack it open. Nice looking cap. I'll put that in. Let's see how it pours. That is perfect. We'll just have to do. That is a very pale straw. Let's see. Crystal clear, highly carbonated, pale straw. I'll show you that. There we go. It's very pale. Looks almost watery. Looks like an American macro lager. <laughs> So let's have a wee sniff, it's about two inches of quite rocky foam, it's, it's funny, it's moose like on the top but it's, it's fast disappearing, which is strange isn't it, yeah, wee sniff, there's a sort of a, it's a, you're getting like a lager like maltiness, but there's a wee bit of hoppiness there as well. I was going to do the temperature 9.3, the foam 10.1. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers, my dears. It's very Pilsner like. The taste, the flavours do develop. It's carbonated, highly carbonated. But not in a bad way. Those flavours spread the those bubbles spread the flavours. And then you get you get a slight maltiness. But there's that, that wee bite that you get from Pilsners as well. I don't know if it's a hoppy bite or a bitter bite or I suppose it must come from the hops, I don't know. It's not my go-to style, but it is. It's a very good beer, it's, but it's not something that I would choose. But for what it is, it's very tasty. It's very refreshing, it's light-bodied. There's a... Uh, I'm going to say the length is just over the 60 seconds. I'm going to say that's like long. Because it does last. That wee bit of bitterness along the back. A wee bit slight hoppiness and maltiness. So, I mean, it's a very good build. Let's have a look online and see what they say. Okay, this. It's brewed by Duvel, Murtgat in Flanders. So Duvel, a very nice beer. So this is it's called the Vedette Extra Pilsner, and in brackets it's got Extra Blonde. It's a Pilsner Other. I don't know what that means. It's 5.2% according to this. On the bottle it says it's 5%. I've used 26. 
Yeah, there is a slight bit on this. I would have thought it was maybe higher than that. But, uh, friends check ins 3 with a score of 3.17. Everyone else is 96.9 thousand with an average score of 3.27. Yeah, might be on the low side, but it's a fair score, I would say. So, Pilsner or other, I'll just click on that and see what they mean by that. Pilsner, also Pilsener or simply Pils, is a type of pale lager. Takes its name from Pilsen, Czech Republic, or Czechia, as it's called. A city in Bohemia, now in the Czech Republic, where it was first produced in 1842. The world's first blonde lager, the original Pilsner Arkel, is still produced there today. So that's got nothing to do with that beer, has it? So the, the style is a. Uh, Pilsner other Vedette Extra Pilsner was formerly known as Vedette Extra Blonde. If blondes really do have more fun, imagine what they'd say about Vedette Extra Blonde. After all, who can resist her seductive straw colour and pearly white head? Her smooth, multi character with subtly balanced hops or her lingering fruitiness with subtle notes of vanilla. No. I can't say I picked that up. I suppose there is a very subtle lingering fruitiness. But the subtle notes of vanilla, I'm not really picking that up at all. Whatever your weakness, this premium Pilsner offers full-bodied, thirst-quenching refreshment from start to finish. With a slightly bitter aftertaste to keep you on your toes. I wouldn't say it's full-bodied, I'd say it's quite light. Descriptors are light, clean, smooth, hoppy, dry. So, judging it on its own merits, not just... on my preferences, well, it is on my preferences, but you know what, I'm going to give this, I'll give it a 7, 3.5, 3 5, 7, 8, 10, it's a, I don't think it's above average, it's, it's a nice, well done beer, would I try it again, yeah, if I've seen it, but I wouldn't, go and, I wouldn't go and hunt it down. It's an average beer. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta. Cheers, my dears.